Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you all the games and things that I received at BGGCon and the games that I bought in Seattle before I went to BGGCon. So get ready for now because it's uh, going to be a long one because I bought a ton. Alright, so first things first, I got this one. I got this Ashes Playmat from Isaac at the Plaid Hat Party. Um, I think it was Friday. It's fantastic. He signed it for me. This is Demona. It's fantastic. If you haven't met Isaac Vega, nicest guy ever. Him and his brother Sam, of course. Cool guys at Plaid Hat. Okay, uh, next one will be, I. speaking of Ashes, I got an insert for Ashes. And I bought one. This is from the Broken Token. And this is actually the organizer here for Ashes cards. And this is actually the organizer for Imperial Settlers, but it fixed the Ashes box and the cards and dice really well. That I actually bought two. I got one for Imperial Settlers as well. I won't open that because, it, well, it looks the same. So I got that. Speaking of uh, Imperial Settlers uh, from Portal, I went to Portal and I bought the Atlanteans expansion and I got uh, Trevor Check to sign my player board for Atlanteans. Great guy, Trevor Check, actually. Um, He's very, uh, he's very nice. He's very accommodating. It's like, oh, could you sign this for me? And nice. I got to meet Mary as well. I believe his wife, and uh, she's very nice. And I actually met her the last day of con because I also bought my Happy Farm from them. Uh, this is actually the you, Polish version. Yeah, Polish version of my Happy Farm, and they will actually be doing an English version of it. My Happy Farm is a very light game from the designers of Mysterium where you basically want to make the animals happy by feeding them. And you do that by buying crops, planting them, and then feeding the animals, making them longer. Which is actually a very simple, nice little game that I like. Let's see here. Speaking of other stuff, oh my god, I got a ton of stuff. Okay. Other things. Speaking of, as for BGGCon, when you first sign up for BGGCon and you go register and you know you get your badge and cool stuff, they give out some free games. It's going to be on this side. I mean, that tends to change out. Sometimes there are games there, sometimes there's not there. But they were giving away four games at the time when I registered. And I didn't pick up the large two ones because I know that has to go in my suitcase and honestly, it's space. All right. Uh, I did pick up the two small ones. I picked up uh, Numbers Please from Eagle. I believe this is Eagle Griffin. And this is just a very simple game of you roll the colored... Uh, these color dice, six-sided dice, to get and make a formula to make it equal to the 12-sided die. There, very fun, has a lot of variant games in there. And I also uh, pick up, picked up TMG's Bottle Cap Vikings. Honestly, I actually did not know much about this game, but it looks fun and it's uh, it looks like very simple to do. But it also came with promos for Gold West, Battle Cruisers, and Harbor, which I believe drove my decision to pick that up. Also, the other one was Work Time Fun, which... or for not work time for, for the win, which I didn't actually understand. So no, I didn't want those. Um, other stuff, there's actually there's a lot of here. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of them. Okay, so other things here, I I didn't buy cacao, but I bought the volcano expansion for it, which actually came the volcano is just three tiles and four twenty coin tokens, but it came with this as a flat board, and what you do is you actually fold it. And it's for Cacao's insert. So Cacao had an insert, which was great, but it has these two large things that made it basically, when you placed it vertically, it would, everything would just fall out. I mean, originally there were punch boards here, but keeping the punch boards there is just not feasible. So they made this, and this actually just goes into Cacao and holds it nice and tight. Keep that, put the manual on it, you're good to go, which is a fantastic thing for a Cacao. See other stuff. I'm gonna put this over here. Other stuff here. I'm gonna go through this so I, I can make some space here. I bought a game called Quinto. Uh, this came out, I believe, in Essen and Suzanne at four two five Suzanne on Twitter. She introduced this to me, and this is just a, I guess, another game like Quicks. But to me, this is much better because then you don't have to, you know, go up the row. You can just start writing numbers. And this is a very simple dice rolling game where you try to fill out the board with your dice rolls and just trying to get the most points possible and oh it's actually very very fun I like that so much okay Let's see here other stuff I got Council of Verona second edition I bought this in uh, Seattle at Cafe Mox the reason I bought this is because it's the second edition comes with this lovely magnet case Ooh, stuff fell out. 
and it came also with the poison expansion poison uh, expansion so I didn't have to buy that either but it looks nice and I've always wanted to uh, get a get a hold of this and this is made by crash games and crash games uh the guy who i believe owns crash games is patrick nickel nickel uh, nice guy actually if you meet him he's very funny yeah. okay and let's see here what else did i buy i bought bottom of the ninth this is from dice hate me games and this is a lovely two-player baseball game where you are playing the home team and another player is playing the away team and you just need to score one more run uh, for from this ragtag bunch against like the dominating away team and just one more run and you win the game and the away team can knock out knock you through get three outs you guys are done to tell you the truth i don't know a lot about baseball but i did want a baseball game and I, to me this was uh this was the one right i bought the two expansion packs they're also in here and actually i've already played this and apparently i suck at it but i will keep trying and also comes with a solo expansion uh solo variant which is nice in there okay Bottom of the ninth. Okay, what else? I also bought from Cool Mini or Not the Grizzled. Uh, this again came out at Gen Con, I believe. And this is a game, a co-op game, where you and you and your friends are just trying to survive uh, World War One with just basically you're just gonna go through the cards and surviving uh, like trauma and just con uh, environmental conditions. And it's actually very fun and it's very uh, very engaging. So. Grizzled. I've always wanted this. A friend of mine showed it to me after SM. It was fantastic. Uh, what else here? I bought uh, I bought this in Seattle at I believe Mox Boarding House. The game 49. This uh, was really hot, I believe, last year, and I feel like it should get more recognition because this is a very simple um, auction game, well, bidding game where you're just bidding for numbers on a board, and the first person to get four in a row wins. Three in a row in a five-player game. Uh, made by Marquee Games. You can actually buy this on their website if you search Marquee Games. And they'll ship it anywhere, really, just for like shipping cost. All right, and from AEG, let's see here. I bought Dice City, and this is basically a nice little tableau builder. I would like to say engine, but not really. It's a tableau builder where where you're basically just buying buildings, making a nice tableau, and to modify your dice rolls so you can get a lot of victory points. Very fun game. Comes with a, a lot board and a really big instruction, really big text instruction manual. And it's actually very very fun. And though I, after after playing it both solo two player, uh, I would not recommend it for four, because I feel like the downtime is going to be too long. But three might be nice. So Dice City. Also buying stuff from AEG. I think if you buy anything from AEG, they'll give you this gigantic bag, which is fantastic, especially if you're just walking around shopping. All right, what else? Going through there. Oh, I'm gonna getting a nice pile here in front of me. I brought I bought this at Barnes and Noble. This is Bells. This is actually a, a little uh, one of those games that you just see on a store shelf. They're just like, why? And then this is a game where you have a magnet and you're just trying to collect the metal bells in here of one of your color. This is actually very weirdly fun that I honestly believe you should pick this up if you had the chance. Barnes and Noble, I got this Bells. There's a bunch of tiny bells in a giant magnet. All right, what else? I bought, oh, I bought Guns and Steel. Um, though this is a Japanese, oh, not a Japanese game, but a Taiwanese game that was available in Japan. It's made by Mo Ideas. Japanese game. Taiwanese game. It is available in Japan in the Japanese version. I wanted the English one with the new art, so Guns and Steel. Uh, the new English edition also is done by Mo Ideas, and it's also done by Grail Games. All right. Let's see here. I picked up... Finally, a copy of Nightmare Chess from Steve Jackson Games. This is the apparently the best chess game variant out ever. And I mean, a lot of people have tried to make chess games and chess variants, but apparently this is the best one. And this is the 2014 printing that comes with both Nightmare Chess 1 and 2. So I highly suggest you pick that up, especially if you love chess and want to play chess with people who basically don't want to just play chess with chess, chess with like magic. Magic, like Magic the Gathering. Not just like magic. All right, uh, other things. Uh, I didn't buy that. There are some games here that have arrived through Kickstarter, but I won't show you guys those because, well, it's not part of this, is it? All right, I also bought Nyet here. I bought this in Seattle, and this was a this is a game by Stefan Dora, and is a trick-taking game where before every round you and the other players not only set up what tricks are good and what cards are bad, how many points they're worth, who is the starting player, 
and the teams actually very fun but I would also I would recommend this as Maggie bot has told me I would recommend this for people who've played trick-taking games before and know how to play trick-taking games well this is really not a game you want to play with like beginner trick-taking people or people who haven't played trick-taking games before because they'll just honestly be confused all right another game that I bought I bought a quarto mini um, I've played this before is a two-player um, uh, board game where you're you are just trying to make four in a row of matching characteristics uh, the fun thing about this game is you pick a piece that you give to your opponent and they place it on the board and they do the same. So actually very nice. I want to get the mini version because it's just tiny and also my wife likes this game. So that's fun. Uh, other games that I picked up. Let's see here. There are some games here that I bought before when I got home and uh, they were available at BGG. For example, I bought this Porta Negra. I wanted to buy this at BGG Con, but I know it was easier to... Uh, it was slightly less expensive for me to buy it here because, and also I didn't want to put this in my suitcase because honestly it's a really big box and space. But Porta Negra is done by Pegasus Spiel, and in the U.S. it's done by Stronghold Games. And this is a game where you're building buildings and other stuff. There's a very nice review from Shut Up and Sit Down about this. I don't know much about it, but I thought it looked really nice as far as table presence goes, and especially the nice plastic 3D buildings. Love that. Okay. Other stuff that I bought at BGG. Okay, other things. I got some of the uh, con promos from Suburbia from Bezier Games. They're nice people. Uh, I got CV Gossip. I It's in a bag because I threw away the box. Because honestly, it's just cards. You don't need the expansion box. So I got this so I can put it in my regular CV. I've been looking for this for ages. And apparently, there I'm, there is going to be another English release of this. But it was just hard to track down, and I got this at Cafe Mox in Seattle. Thank you, Maggie Bot. I believe she's the one who brought those down from Essen. Now, I also bought the Bloody Inn. This actually, I believe, came out from Essen by Pro Games. This is a, I believe, competitive game where you're trying to get the most money by basically having people come to your inn, and you murder them, and then you bury them, in which you take their money. You only take their money when you bury them, though. So I guess there's some kind of honor in that. But it's really nice, and it has the same art as a, a game called Art of War and Brazilian Coup, which I love the artist for this, and I love his art. So have that bloody in. Okay, what else I bought? Uh, I bought Isle of Sky, again, in Seattle, because this was on my list. And this is just a very nice game from Mayfair. It's a tile-building game where you auction off the pieces that you get. So you basically set their price and hopefully players buy them for you so you can get more money or or you don't want players them to buy to buy them from you so you can put them in your own uh, uh, tile area. And once you do that every round, there's a different set of scoring conditions. And once you do that, most points wins. All right, here, put that there. I also bought Roll for the Galaxy Ambition. I love Roll for the Galaxy and just buying the expansion to get you more tiles, more dice, uh, and some cards. Oh, no, not cards, but some more tiles and dice. This, this is a no-brainer to buy this one. Roll for the Galaxy Ambition. All right, uh, let's see here. What else did I buy? I bought oh, a few more things. Not a lot of things left because a lot of this actually is the stuff I bought beforehand and some Kickstarter things that arrived. I bought both Sylveon and Castellion from Z-Man Games. I already owned Oniron, and this is just, the, this is the next game, well, not the next game in the series, it would be Urbion, but this is another, uh, these more solo games in their solo game line, and these are the new remakes. So Sylveon is more of a tower defense, and I have not or read about Castellion, but this, this is nice, but the difference about this is from Sylveon and Oniron is Castellion is tiles, so I'm looking forward to that, uh, and looking forward to this as well. And um, though Z-Man has promos for it, they didn't really, they don't really sell promos anywhere for these games. So I was happy to be able to go to BGG Con and get the promos for Sylveon, Oniron, and Sylveon and Oniron. There are currently no promos for Castellion, as far as I know. And I bought, um, oh, oh. sorry, <laughs> I bought uh, extra dice for Favor the Pharaoh uh, from Bezier Games. I missed the pre-order. For Favor of the Pharaoh, 
and and if you pre-ordered it from Bezier at the time they were asking for it, they would give you extra dice. However, I was fortunate that when I went to BDGCon, they were selling the extra dice for Fairer and Thorough for 20 bucks, so I was happy to buy that. Though I really should get a copy of the game eventually. Alright, I also bought Prodigal's Club. This is a game from CGE, and I would like to say this is the, like, I would like to say sister game, or mother game to uh, Last Well, which is one of my favorite games. It's another type of a uh, game where you're trying to run out of money. You're basically trying to run down money. And what's cool about this game, and that the reason I was intrigued by it, aside from being part of the Last Will, I guess, series, was that one of the modules in here allows you to lose a lot of money. And instead of using that, you could just substitute in Last Will. So you're actually playing two games side, side by side, which is something I need to get done. That's gonna be fun. At least for me. And uh, ooh, what else here? That most of it. I also got a bunch of promos for things such as like I met uh, talks from Arcane Wonders and he gave me a tabletop trophy of awesome promo. Mary from Portal Games gave me a hunting dog which is great and then BG was also selling a bunch of stuff. Uh, promo stuff. They had like a mobile BGG store kind of deal. And I bought the, I'm going to put the back of this so you guys don't see what's in front. This is uh, the Brett Spiel Advent Calendar from Essen. Uh, the Advent Calendar was, well, an Advent Calendar where you would open one per day until December 24th and you would get something cool. It's usually chocolate or something, but in this case, they're game promos. And the reason mine's are in a bag because the, well, the box is really big and I'm not bringing that home. So I decided to just spoil the surprise, though that's kind of a thing for me then that's okay but all the promos are here all 24 of them right there for various various games and I'm hoping that other people for, will get that because they had a ton of copies left I believe if you want to check out the BGG store hopefully they'll go up there and the last thing that I bought aside from, one of the last things I bought before I left was above and below this is the Kickstarter edition that Ryan Lockhat himself was selling at BGGCon from Red Raven Games and this is more of like a worker placement slash uh, storytelling game with uh, ties with Tales of Arabian Nights kind of deal. It has a storybook and actually very nice. I like Red, Red Raven Games and Ryan Lockhart because, well, he does not only the, the game design, but the art and the publishing. So, and uh, meeting him actually in person was very nice. He's a very, uh, very friendly guy. And he was so accommodating when I asked him if I could buy the game with PayPal instead of like cash. Because at the time I was, it was near the end of the con, and honestly I was out of out of money, so I was being able to buy that by PayPal was really nice. So that. Aside from that, uh, what else did I see at BGCon? I saw Burgle Bros being played. Uh, this actually my copy from Kickstarter, Burgle Bros, and this is a game, a co-op game where you're trying to steal uh, loot from a building that you build. Uh, from a building and you're playing these characters and you're just trying to well get out with the loot really it's very nice because it also uh, Tim Powers was there uh, demoing the game with the high-rise uh, high-rise is an add-on where you actually it's a 3d building that you put all the floors on but he was also dressed as a security guard which was kind of cool anyway um, I think that's all of it if I missed anything or that I'll probably just put in an annotation of this. Aside from that, though, I believe that's everything I bought at BGGCon. And, uh, well, that's that's all. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, if you have any questions about any of the other if, any of the games here, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll happy, ha I'm happy to answer them. Obviously, that I, I may or may not actually do a video for any of this because usually I cover Japanese games, but and this is just a ton of American American and uh, European games so never know anyway for now I'll see y'all later and bye